With a reputation of being big and loud, the boisterous bruiser is often the most fun guy to be around. <laughs> Booyah! Sweet! From Gung Ho to Casey Jones and even the Scotsman, these grandiose warriors can be loud and in your face, but will show off their strength at a moment's notice. Well, that was a crime, you purse scrubbing pukes. And this is uh, the penalty. <laughs> I don't need anything special to break every bone in your tiny body! Show me what you got, Nyla! In the world of the Transformers, some may think of the Autobot brothers, Sideswipe and Sunstreaker, as fitting this role. No problem, bro! Just follow my lead! But none are as loud as the tank Autobot warrior, Warpath. I'd like to thank my patrons and my channel members for your continued support. Consider becoming one or purchase some merch. Links are in the description below. The immediate success of the Transformers toy line in 1984 led to the cancellation of Takara's Diaclone and Microchange toy lines. However, it has been speculated that some of the designed yet unreleased figures were still imported by Hasbro. This included a set of mini vehicles added to the Autobot ranks in 1985. One of them transformed into a General Motors M551 Sheridan tank and was given the name Warpath. In his bio, as written by Bob Budiansky, Warpath thinks he's more impressive than his comrades do. This boisterous, loudmouth warrior likes to show off his sharpshooting skills and impressive strength, but he can become helpless if upended or if his tank treads are damaged. Also, he would be extremely upset if even the smallest scratch or dent were to come to his gun barrel. Despite this, Warpath's sense of humor always made him welcome among his teammates especially in the gloomiest situations. Like many of the Transformers introduced in the show's second season, Warpath was added to the Autobot ranks without explanation. Hang in there, Beachcomber! Here comes the cavalry! Da -da 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 -da. The details for that I've covered previously. Voiced by Alan Oppenheimer, Warpath enjoyed blasting Decepticons with his gun barrel as he interjected his speech with boisterous onomatopoeia. I say we go out and bang! Nail some Decepticon hide! Whack! Zap! Sword! Heavily armored with his alt mode of a tank, Warpath frequently clashed with the Decepticon triple changer, Blitzwing. Blitzwing! Thank you! <laughs> Warpath's strength often overpowered many a Decepticon, and he, alongside Hoist and Spike, chased a group of them through a time device in the episode A Decepticon Raider in King Arthur's Court. <laughs> Guess I just, ooh, ruined his day. <laughs> Although low on power, Warpath even helped Sir Aethling the Red win a jousting match and later stopped the Decepticons from taking over Wigan of Blackthorn's castle. Upon their return, Warpath resumed smashing Decepticons throughout Season 2. He even tried to make it big in the episode, Hoist Goes to Hollywood, but soon realized that show business wasn't all it was cracked up to be. You know, special effects. I don't believe this. Warpath was absent from Transformers the movie, but he did appear in Season 3, as he and a group of Autobot mini-vehicles attempted to stop Trypticon's assault. We have no choice, Boom, but to make our stand here! Despite their efforts, Trypticon easily overpowered them and destroyed the Ark. <laughs> While other characters made more prominent appearances throughout the season, Warpath was still present to battle Decepticons as he was stationed at Autobot City. In the Marvel Comics, Warpath was part of Perceptor's crew of Autobots on Cybertron. While keeping their spirits up, Warpath helped destroy the Decepticon space bridge, which stranded their unit on Earth. 
while joining up with the Autobots at the Ark, Warpath's firepower easily blasted any Decepticon threats. He also had a memorable appearance showing off his strength in a UK exclusive story as the Autobots defended the White House from the assault of the Insecticons. Unfortunately, like many Transformers characters, Warpath quickly faded into the background and his final appearance was being present when Buster Witwicky was rescued from the Decepticons. Considering Warpath was one of the loudest Autobots, you'd think he'd make his big break making things go boom in the live-action movies. Don't forget about me! However, to help flesh out the toy line for the first movie, a Target-exclusive redeco of Transformers Cybertron Overhaul was released as a new version of Warpath. Briefly seen in the tie-in comics, Warpath was quickly killed off by Starscream after failing to create a replica of the Allspark. A G1-inspired version of Warpath voiced by Dave Fanoi was a mid-boss in the Dark of the Moon video game. Megatron, I've been waiting for my shot at you. Promise you won't go down too easy. I want this to last. Unfortunately, Warpath was quickly killed off by Megatron. Pathetic! You couldn't take me on your best day! In Transformers The Last Night, an old World War I Mark IV tank Autobot guarded Edmund Burton's castle. This nameless Autobot was thought by some fans to actually be Warpath, though some have referred to him as Bulldog based on the stamps on his tank mode. Robot dementia. It's all pretty. In Transformers Animated, Warpath was a member of the Autobot Elite Guard. Voiced by David K. Any Autobot who won't fight Decepticons is no better than a con himself. Warpath looked down on those who refused to participate in the battle against the Decepticons as he delivered Prowl to Master Yogatron. Damn, Prowl! Lousy draft dodging piece, Nick. Since the Autobots typically do not transform into weapons of war, Warpath modified his radar dish into a pulse cannon, which helped him survive the many years of war. An evil Autobot version of Warpath briefly appeared in the Shattered Glass universe as one of Optimus Prime's violent enforcers. In the Align continuity, and based on his G1 counterpart, Warpath was a playable character in the War for Cybertron video game. Voiced by Jameson Price, Warpath showed off his strength boastfully as he battled the Decepticons, much to the chagrin of Ironhide. Dial it down a notch, kid. I've only got one setting, old-timer! Kablam! With his confident demeanor, Warpath helped Optimus Prime reach the core of Cybertron. He would later appear in Fall of Cybertron as the Autobots prepare to leave their home world. When the door opens, we go out hard! You will engage the enemy with guns blazing and gears grinding! With the exception of the first film's figure, these new versions of Warpath were absent from receiving new toys. However, Warpath did see a few figures based on his G1 counterpart. Most of the time, they were designed as Cybertronian-style tanks instead of Earth ones. In 2004, Takara reissued Warpath's G1 toy with a set of minibots. These were subsequently redecoed as an e-hobby exclusive set of GoBots that had traveled into the Transformers universe taking on bodies of Cybertronians. The Guardian Treads took on the form of a green Warpath body. As for other appearances of Warpath, his G1 counterpart has been seen in a few minor roles in the comics and video games. Warpath was one of the many Autobots that resisted the reign of Shockwave on Cybertron. Once the planet was liberated, Warpath joined up with Bumblebee's squad of minibots back to Earth. Unfortunately, he wasn't given an opportunity to zoom into action as he helped his fellow wounded Autobots that were injured fighting the Decepticons. In the IDW comics, Warpath briefly appeared showing off his firepower against a group of Cybertronians invading from the dead universe. However, Warpath was quickly put on guard duty as the war came to a close. While Warpath might have rolled into action occasionally, his view of violent Decepticons and even his name didn't sit well with Cybertronians who desired peace. Even IDW's rebooted continuity couldn't find a place for Warpath to fit in as he was quickly taken out of action. 
In 2020, a new G1 Accurate figure was released as part of the War for Cybertron Trilogy's Kingdom toy line. Unfortunately, this did not earn him a spot in the Netflix animated series. Although Warpath has been mostly absent from much of Transformers media in recent years, this loud warrior still sticks out among his fellow Autobots. With the uncommon tank mode and firepower to boot, he certainly leaves a lasting impression. Hopefully when the Autobots are in need of a morale boosting and boisterous charge into battle, Warpath will be there to answer the call. But what do you think? Does Warpath deserve another chance in the spotlight? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you like this video, be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. I have many more Transformers videos like this coming soon, so stay tuned. And as always, until next time, till all are one. Now, he is no match for the alien robots. I mean, the evil alien robots.